everybody, uh, Misty Dawn here, and I have decided to make a small little Photoshop tutorial for you guys today, since I haven't made a Photoshop tutorial in quite a while. Um, I figured I'd show you guys a little neat trick called, um, well not really called anything, it just kind of gives an effect of text being engraved into the background. As you can see here, I, I just did this with uh, some font here, I just typed that out and I thought it would be a neat little trick to show you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a new project file um, and we are going to pick like a color. Uh, it can be really any color you want. I'm just going to pick this sort of darkish blue color just because I like it and just paint bucket the background as simple as that and pick, um, I would suggest for font that you pick something that's kind of bold. I find it works better with things that are bold instead of things that are, um, I don't know, really, um, I guess, handwritten kind of stuff. Those I don't think would turn out so good. So I usually go with uh, my Old Republic text here and I'm just going to make this white temporarily. We're going to change the color so that way it'll actually look like it's into the background. So just click on to your workspace here and I'm just going to call it things engraved again because I can and because I don't really know of anything else to type out so that's what we're going to have right here is just put your text somewhere in the middle doesn't really well if you don't want it in the middle that's fine too and what you want to do is go over here and you want to duplicate the layer and it's important that you do this because this is going to this is where the effect is going to come in. And while you have your duplicate layer, your copy layer, you want to make sure that's selected. Hit Control, so put uh, hold down the Control key on your keyboard, and just uh, tap the arrow key, the the up arrow key twice, and that's going to make it like go into the background a bit. So if you can see that's in the back, this is the copy layer that's in the background, it's kind of hard to see because different colors but it's it went up a little bit and this is where we're going to do our effects but before we do that we're going to change the color of our text here so that way it's the color of the background so it looks like it's actually engraved into the background so you can just do a color overlay and just select your color right here, keep it, keep it everything on normal and I usually do use my eyedropper tool here. You, it'll automatically go to the eyedropper tool here and just select the background, click OK. That's fine. And now for the copy layer, do color overlay again and go over here and select the background. Now, now we're not going to be able to see it, but what we're going to do is we're going to do an outer glow and an inner shadow. Now the inner shadow is what's going to make make it look like as if it's engraved and that's really all that it takes is just an inner shadow now you can go in and mess with the settings if you want like I'm probably gonna this is like kind of automatically on beige I'm just gonna make it white for the glow because if you don't really have the glow it, you can't really see it as much you're gonna need that glow so that way you can you can still see the outline of the letter since it is the same color as the background and make sure that inner shadow is selected so that way it actually looks like it's engraved and once again you can mess with all these settings if you want I usually just leave it on what the default is because I find if you mess with it too much it can look too dark and it loses its effect so that is what you can do there um, I know back on this one that I made I actually have uh, some kind of um, I don't know if you want to call it a powdery kind of cloud effect um, for a bonus I guess I could quickly show you how to make something like that uh, make a new layer right down here hit this button and that will create a new layer and make sure that you have um, your foreground color is white and your background color is black and make sure it's on a new layer first and what we're going to do is go to filter and go to render clouds and now you see, oh boy, there's clouds, but how the heck are you going to make that into like the um, misty sort of, I don't know, pixelated stuff? Well, what we're going to do is going to go down to image, adjustment, and we're going to go to levels. You're going to want to push this thing all the way over here because now it's going to darken out um, or make the white stand out more. And probably about there is good. So that's good. 
And now the next magic thingy that you want to do with the layer is go up to here and change it to screen. And now you can see, you can just really see the white. And uh, if you want, you can get rid of some of the stuff. This is what I would normally do. I would go over to my eraser tool here. Go up to here though and make sure that the hardness is down to zero because that will give it that softer kind of look um, that you want when getting rid of these. Otherwise it's going to look too, I don't know, I guess choppy is the word. But I usually when erasing things I like to have it softly erase stuff so that way it doesn't look so, like I said, choppy around the edges. And then you just erase the, the things that you don't want around the outside. Like so. I know that on the other one I had it as a different color. Uh, it was kind of like a, I don't know, kind of like another bluish kind of color. Uh, for this one I'm just going to do white. But what I did on the other one, just to quickly show you, is I went on to here. I did a color overlay and that's going to look like crap. But I went down to here, changed it to a different color, and then changed this to just color like that. And that's how I got the other effect. Um, but for this, I'm just going to keep it as white, so. And there you go. And as for the little design thingy there, uh, that's just um, a brush preset I have. I have a lot of presets, tons of them actually, that I ended up getting from a graphic um, pack thing that I downloaded off another YouTube video. So it's got lots of different types of cool brushes. I believe I used Urban Floral for this one. I believe it might be here somewhere. Oh, I think this is it right here, uh, but I'm not going to put that down because I'm not going to be bothered with that. I just wanted to quickly show you guys how to make this engraved text sort of effect. Uh, hopefully this has helped you guys. Hopefully I've explained it well enough. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that or anything that I maybe didn't explain very well, you can always ask me in the comments section below. I'll do my best to get back to all of your questions and hopefully I'll have the answers for you. So thanks for watching this little quick tutorial, guys, and hopefully I will be able to think of something else to show you in the next tutorial. So till then, take care. So the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put our little text layer in because I usually like putting text next because we're going to have all kinds of different characters and I want to make sure it all works nicely. To add more. Say if I want to add another video, just for an example, I'm not actually probably going to add another video. I'm just going to say I'm going to, but I'm not going to, if that makes any sense. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to...